underscore a few things that you've all across this sort of mentioned about being really critical in terms of promoting entrepreneurship in these rural communities. So one of them is clearly capital and access to really flexible capital and capital that is willing to look at deals that sort of traditional banks won't look at. The second is that pairing that capital with management assistance that really helps people build their ability to grow and manage that business, particularly if they're in an industry that they, they haven't been in before, really, really critical. Um, a third piece that I hear is, um, is infrastructure. So Dennis, you talked about broadband. Inez, you talked about the role of septic and other kinds of infrastructure in addition to broadband. Jeffrey, you've built infrastructure. You've built <laughs> these trails, which is the, the what your businesses are built on. So really important in rural areas. <coughs> so, so those to me seem to be some, some interesting themes. And what I want to unpack a little bit is, as someone who works in entrepreneurship in rural and urban areas, those first two things that we talked about, capital and management, I think are what you hear about any entrepreneur. It's what you hear with organizations that work with urban entrepreneurs. It's what you see in the, the literature of folks who survey entrepreneurs nationally. So let's talk a little bit more about what's really different about running a business in a rural area and about working with entrepreneurs in a rural area. So I, I'm going to start with Inez, because I know you have some, some thoughts on this, but we'll then we'll, we'll open it up some more. So Inez? So one critical issue in our communities is the loss of community banks. Um, a lot of those banks have been consolidated and then closed. So we've lost a referral source, but also our entrepreneurs, you know, most entrepreneurs who, who want to go into business, the first thing they think of is, I'm going to talk to my banker. And that's usually not the right person for them to talk to, but that's where they go anyways. And so, so we've lost that piece of infrastructure. Um, I think the, the second piece is, in rural, because the population is less dense, your market is less dense. And so you have to become and, and create much more creative business models to be able to, to make that business sustainable. And that's really where we help a lot of people test the feasibility of their idea so that they have something that they're very good at and they want to go sell that. And then we come back and say, well, can you also do this? Can you also sell on the internet? Can you begin to market to the region instead of just this community so that we make sure that they, that they have a viable business from the day they get started? When you think about the places that we are, um, it's pretty typical that our manufacturers are going to be 10 to 20, 25 people. And those are probably going to be the most important jobs in that community in terms of wages and benefits and investment. So they're the ones that are supporting the basketball team and the hockey team, the little league team. So, so those connections of trying to make sure that, that family-owned businesses are strong and growing is really important, not just for some of our larger communities, but also our, lar our uh, smallest communities. And having ways to access resources and capital to support that is, is a little more difficult than, than the lending side. The lending side, our cost of funds is 1.6%. We're trying to maintain a 5% spread. So, so it becomes really easy to go talk to um, government or foundations and say, we would really love 1% money. And, um, and everybody gets that. Um, the knowledge building activities are a lot more challenging in finding resources. And so, you know, if you're gonna think about the whole infrastructure, um, the collaborations that occur in rural areas, we need the small business development centers, we need the SCORE chapters, um, we need the universities, and particularly Northern Michigan University, um, continuing to invest in, in resources to support um, small business and entrepreneurship. So the, there's a lot of collaboration that must go on if we're going to create this kind of an infrastructure to support small businesses. 